Bishop's making his way to the ring now, and you can see how focused he is on the task at hand. Roy Jones Jr. is on his way to the ring. Boy, he looks confident. We've seen it many times with him through the years, but tonight he's bubbling with confidence. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Well, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping weather. This is 10 round. Roy Jones Jr. is crumbled by that hook to the body. It's hard to touch Roy Jones Jr. with a clean glove. But if he can, his opponent does have power. Yes, he does have power, and he has a chance to catch Roy. Roy gives you this chance. Clean. Because Roy will make you miss, but he'll do it naked. He'll do it with his hands down. If you catch him, bang. You catch him with everything. A well-placed overhand right. Now he ties up there. Bishop's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around. He did not see that right hand at all. He may want to tie up. Oh, that's a big hook right there. A well-placed left hand up top. Solid right by Andre Bishop. That is a sharp uppercut by Andre Bishop. Nice work, the left hand to the head. <laughs> left to the body. Move the head. You can see blood now from Roy's nose. Good-looking uppercut that time. Oh! And now he scores with that left to the body. Rock'em, sock'em, robots right from the start here, Teddy. No defense, just pure offense. Not able to connect with the uppercut. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Wow, I like what he's doing right here, Teddy. He's just taking control of this fight. Hurt his opponent already. Now he's pushing him around, trying to get another shot in. Yeah, he wants to get full leverage. He wants to get him right in the position where he can nail him a shot and finish this. That was not well targeted by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop has always had a knack for that. I love the way Andre will look for that uppercut and then deliver it. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. 
end of round one. Jones's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. Listen, you need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. You got to watch the water in the corner. Too much. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Oh, a good right hand by Andre Bishop. Oh, what a hook upstairs. We overheard the corner of Andre Bishop earlier saying to look for the upper, but that time he found it, he saw it, he gave it. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Roy Jones Jr. is just looking to get it done on the back end here, Teddy. Yeah, he is. He's just waiting to set a trap. You know, he's trying to get his opponent to walk in where he can make a miss and bang, spring it on him. That was a left hand that came raining. Clean big shot there. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. What guts by Andre Bishop. We've seen it throughout his career we've been following, but he wants to fight on here. This is what Andre Bishop talked to us about. What a big shot. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. is climb back up from the canvas may inspire him i think bishop scored really well there he just damaged his opponent with that power shot upstairs Keep working the body. off the target by andre bishop there's that hand speed of roy jones jr landing the hook non-stop energy yes, from yes. both guys in this round the final minute is here a little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Not an accurate hook at all. Gets rid of that body shot. Bishop's hit by a counter punch there. Good plus shot upstairs. Blocks that punch. Roy Jones Jr. is rocked by a big shot there. What a wild round as both men have been affected. Hey, I know he's not in great shape, but he's doing a very good job now. Solid. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? But he's going to continue on, beating the count. How about that? What a round we just saw. Both men were able to get to the other. Both men seemingly hurt in that round. And the kind of round where a judge really has to do his job. Everyone else does their job. Trainers, managers, we're trying to do ours. But now, it's up to the judges to really look at that and find where they can separate the two fighters. He caught you with your hands down. Come on now, hands up, hands up! You don't need that now, throw that away. Oh, no. 
start of a new round, and I give credit to his corner. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand that he had no clue on. Oh. There it is! Oh, my, what a shot! Roy Jones Jr.'s down. He's got to beat the count. That punch was absolutely a stunt. And that came so wide that he had no preparation for it. That's where an awkward shot pays dividends. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. Puts forth the hook, scores with him. Roy Jones Jr. is hoping to recover right here. The way to do it, he feels to tie up. Yeah, it's not about machoism right now. It's about getting past this point, surviving, and then having a chance later on to get back to win the fight. Scored well up top. Roy Jones Jr.'s team. Big shot. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Curling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? Joe, so this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Keep your head moving. Effective work with that flush overhand right. He took a go of it to the body but came up empty. There is something called a will to win. Andre Bishop has it. He's going to find a way to overcome the damage that was done. Fine hook by Roy Jones Jr. Real excellent work there. Good block by Andre Bishop that time. We'd like to see more of that. Really frustrating his opponent now. Bishop so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. Oh! Roy Jones Jr. is going to beat the count, but I don't think he has it in him. To beat the count, it'll go down as a knockout, Teddy. Perfectly timed punch. For the official particulars, let's send it up to the ring. <laughs>